All right, uh, quick update uh, for the build log for the Mendel Prusa project, building uh, the 3D printer. Uh, this is the state of it at the end of day two. It's uh, actually the start of day three, but this is where I left off at the end of day two. So um, basically I got the frame put together uh, and got the Y-axis uh, put together. So that axis is, is working. Um, as far as putting the frame together, you know, it was pretty straightforward, uh, not too complicated. It's kind of like working with a, a rector set or a Meccano, if you're familiar with that. Um, just threaded rods and uh, nuts and, or bolts and nuts and such. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, really not that hard, kind of enjoyable to put together. Bit fiddly when you, you know, start to get to the point where you're trying to square up the frame. Um, the recommendation there is to use some measuring rods to make that process easier and I kind of ignored that at first and tried to use a tape measure and it turns out that you know it's a really good recommendation to use uh, the measuring rods it's just a lot faster uh, to do your measuring that way so you get a couple different sizes of measuring rods uh, and then I cut mine out of dowel and then it makes it a lot simpler to uh, to square the frame up. Um, everything, all the parts are working out really well so far. I'm really happy with everything. Um, my, the plate that I'm using is um, scavenged clipboard material. It's like a hardboard. Uh, normally a lot of the Mendels that I've seen online are using like a MDF or something and this is a uh, basically a the hardboard off of a clipboard and uh, I like it because it's nice and uh, it's very rigid uh, laterally and you know it doesn't bend easily and it's nice and flat and it's also very thin and light uh, and I'm gonna also use that for the bottom layer of my uh, top print board as well uh, I cut this on my laser cutter it cuts really nice on the laser cutter uh, I wish I could find large sheets of it uh, instead of scavenging clipboards, but uh, but yeah, it's a good material. The laser's really nice, and it's nice and uh, nice and uh, rigid and flat. So good material for this. Um, I'm happy with everything. The way the Y axis, the way the axis works, um, I found a little bit. I don't know. I'm not real happy with it. I mean, it, it works, but the belt kind of walks back and forth. Uh, the pulleys that they're using, or what they're using for pulleys, are basically 608 skate bearings and what with washers on either side, and that gives a lot of space for that pulley to walk back and forth, um, or rather the timing belt to walk back and forth in the, inside the pulley. And I mean it works fine, but it's just um, it's a little janky in my opinion. Uh, it's kind of MacGyver-esque. I mean it'll get the job done probably, but I don't know. It's not the best design. I don't like the fact that the that the belt can walk back and forth. Uh, I added this zip tie here because this this mounting plate for the y-axis stepper motor it's a little bit flexible, so I'm just helping it out with a zip tie to kind of keep it, uh, you know, straight basically and perpendicular. So uh, that's helping a little bit, but and also I don't like the fact that that the gear the y-axis gear sticks out so far from the motor um, if I was to do it over again I would take out probably this nut I would leave the washers in um, the washers are probably there to clear this um, the washers and nut are probably there to clear this this screw on the mount but uh, you could probably just get away with one or the other either the nut or the washers and not both uh, it just it sticks too far out in my opinion should be closer in to the motor and I'm not, like I said, not real crazy about these skate bearing pulleys. Um, if I might replace them with actual timing pulleys, and I might machine uh, a new mount out of aluminum so that it's more rigid, so that the the belts track straight. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll I'll go with the program and uh, see how it ends up. Uh, and if it, if it works fine, you know, we'll leave it that leave it at that. But um, but anyway. 
So that's basically it, and it's on to the other axes today, um, X and Z axes. I've got these little strings hanging down here. I'm going to use those as kind of a plumb bob to uh, to line up the Z axis uh, smooth rod. And uh, so yeah, we'll see see how far it goes today. So uh, maybe another update later on today. Thanks for watching.